William Lyman, followed by Bill Moore. Hello. Governor Lloyd, I would just like to thank you and uh, Nancy for coming and allowing us the opportunity to speak to you um, tonight. Um, do you believe that these uh, new gun laws, firearms laws that, we've, uh, that you guys have created in the last year would or have reduced crime rate um, and would have prevented the Sandy Hook tragedy from happening? Also, what statistics do you have that would support these new firearms and lowering the crime, crime rate versus the increase in firearm sales since Obama took office in 2008? Oh, uh, uh, the answer to the first uh, portion of the question is yes. Uh, the second, uh, the answer to the second portion of the question uh, about the statistical data, uh, I know that from the, uh, the very start, uh, of my administration. We've done everything we can to lower crime. Uh, and it's no one thing uh, that's important. But we have programs in our cities to combat gang-related uh, crime uh, that have showed uh, significant progress in lowering the number of uh, deaths uh, by, uh, uh, by homicide. Um, the year before was 147, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, you can attribute a portion of that to Sandy Hook, but it was still well in, uh, uh, ahead of uh, 120. Uh, this past year, we had less than 100 homicides in the state of Connecticut. And I think that's due to a whole bunch of things, uh, programs that we've under, undertaken uh, in the state of uh, Connecticut. So let me just say that you know a lot has changed in the last year since the legislation was passed. Um, I, I can say that uh, no one in our state can walk into a store and buy a rifle. Uh, without an ex uh, extensive permitting process. Uh, today, uh, the type of gun that was uh, able to carry out the crime at Sandy Hook is not for sale in the state of Connecticut. Uh, in Connecticut, you can no longer buy a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds uh, of ammunition. Um, you know, I've talked to a lot of hunters, including my brother. He doesn't see that as a problem. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, you know, we have done a number of things in the state of Connecticut around comprehensive and common sense gun safety reforms. Uh, in December, a young man at the UNH uh, campus tried to carry a gun onto the campus and perhaps commit a crime. Uh, he was stopped because people were more alert and understood the significance of, of that and understand that that's not uh, a normal behavior to be engaged in on a college campus. Uh, in the last uh, month, an 18-year-old who tried on uh, two occasions to purchase weapons with the ideation of carrying out a school-based crime was prevented from doing uh, that. Uh, in the last uh, 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 year alone, 72 felons were prevented from buying guns in the state of Connecticut. Uh, 54 people who were struggling with mental illness uh, challenges were prevented from buying uh, a gun. Uh, and 15 people training uh, orders on them primarily out of domestic situations, were prevented from buying guns. So if you're asking me, do I think that our gun laws made Connecticut safer, the answer is yes. And those are statistics. Thank you.